All right, man, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. I want to talk about what happened in Kenosha, Wisconsin, uh, in the wake of the Jacob Blake incident. There was a bunch of riots and looting, and it spilled over into uh, to a town. And uh, there was some young white Caucasian young man uh, by the name of Kyle Ruthouse. Um He uh, ended up killing two people and wounded another. Um, so I want to get into that. But first, like, share, subscribe to the page. Cash app is in the description. If you want to donate to the page, it helps out. It helps me bring more content. Also, if the best way to support the channel actually is to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let everybody know what I said. Now, I want to say something before I get into the video. I want to say something before I get into this video. Um, I don't want to offend anyone with any of my videos. So... I apologize in advance if I offend you. And I had to tell myself that a lot of stuff that may be said that I say can be offensive to other people. And I have to take people into consideration because it's not right for me to give my opinion and not tell people that if it offends you, I apologize. Now, even though it's my opinion, some people are very sensitive when it comes to this, and it's not me being funny, it's just some people are very sensitive when it comes to topics. And I don't wanna want people to feel like because I say something, I'm being insensitive. I'm not being insensitive, I'm just telling you my opinion. And if you disagree with my opinion, there's a bunch of different things you can do. You can either uh, say something in the comments or you can just not watch the video because you feel as though that I'm, uh, insensitive so i apologize in advance so get into this uh was this young man justified or was his actions justified by what he did to these three uh people now i don't want to really sit here and tell you that these three people were protesting because the context of protesting doesn't involve cocktail bombs, guns, and assaulting people. So let's just get that out the way. Also too, why and how did this young man, Jake, uh, not Jake, uh, Kyle, get the gun? Where did he get the this, this type of gun from? He's 17 years old. I don't know if he got the gun from uh, he, of course, he couldn't get it from couldn't couldn't have got it legally. So where did he get it from? So that's one. Now and again, I want to say this because it's very important. A lot of times we, as people, believe that how we feel is actually facts, and that's not true. We can't go off of how we feel because we have to go off of what it is. So Kyle had the gun, correct? The other guys had weapons too. I'm not going to say skateboard is a weapon, but it was used as a weapon. So, okay, cool. Also, too, Kyle was a minor. So, Kyle was a minor. Kyle was 17. These other guys were adults. Now, again, I'm not excusing Kyle for shooting these people. But you have to understand, when you attack a minor and you're an adult, in certain states, they have a right to defend themselves. Now... Let's just let's just let's just use this scenario for example. Let's just say Kyle didn't bring the pistol and he stood outside of whatever he was protecting because he had to be protecting something because I seen a video where he was standing outside of a gas station and he was protecting a gas station. So let's just let's just say for argument's sake he didn't have a gun. And they attacked him. Now, was they attacking Kyle because of uh, he was protecting the gas station? 
Or was they attacking him because he wasn't with them? What was it? Because we don't know why he was being attacked. Now, again, they're saying, and for what I've seen, the first guy that got killed, he threw a cocktail bomb or got a Molotov. Molotov. I always have a problem saying that word for some reason. Cocktail or whatever it was, tear gas, whatever, I don't know. He had a pro he had he threw that at him. Evidently he missed. Then he started chasing him. Now, that's assault with a deadly weapon. And a lot of states, those cocktail bombs or whatever you want to call them, they're assault with deadly weapons. Now I want to ask this question too. Why did he have that? Where did he get that from? And what was he using it for? Where did he get that from? That's one. So, he got shot in the head. Chase Kyle got shot. Kyle shot him. Killed him. The next guy chased him down and hit him with a skateboard. Kyle fell, got hit with a skateboard, and he got shot. He got killed. Then the next guy ran up on him with a gun. He ran up on him with a gun. And he got shot in the arm. Now, none of these people was trying to help Kyle. None of them. And again, I am not saying Kyle or shooting Kyle Bell. I'm not saying that Kyle is right. I'm saying that. Every man and woman have a right to protect their own life. Period. Now, why he was why was he there with the gun? That's a whole nother argument. That's like telling somebody that drive a drive a car and get into an accident that didn't have a license. But well, why would you drive him? But we have to we have to assess the accident the accident first. Has that has to be taken care of. Then why would you drive him? Because the accident is the most important part. So, it's the same thing with this situation. Why Why did they have guns? That's the thing. If you're peacefully protesting, then what do you have guns for? So again, it's, a, it's an argument on both sides to, to be made. Now, let me get into my opinion about it. I think Kyle was wrong. I don't think Kyle was wrong for uh, for defending himself, but I think he was wrong for being 17 years old, having a pistol or having a gun, crossing state lines to go to wherever. Now, I don't know if they had a, a, a coalition or a militia or whoever they were together with. I do know there's pictures of him with a bunch of different guys um, standing there together and, and they're saying that they're going to protect their town now it could have been one of his friends towns uh, uh neighborhoods that he wanted to protect could have been anything but a day before that a couple of businesses was burned one car dealership was burned down now taking it to the the jacob blake thing it spills over into that because now you have a white guy who's 17 years old who walks past the police officers with the pistol in his hand and they don't stick they don't stop him they don't say anything he had his hands up and he's walking away now here's the thing a day before that there was another guy who was walking around with a pistol and in the same in in the same city i don't know if it was the same type of gun but he pointed the pistol at the police and they told him to put it down. Now, they didn't tell him to put it down as if like put it down on the ground. They said, do not point that at us. So obviously they're letting him, these people walk around with the gun. So Kyle walked past the police because the police were letting people walk around with guns. Now, should they have checked Kyle? We don't know, but they do know they... The police officers do know that there were two people dead down the street. They don't know who did it at the time. All they know is this young man had his hands up walking with a pistol. 
And the problem that I have with this whole situation is everybody, no one's telling the truth. Everybody's telling their version because they don't want to be wrong. No one's telling the truth. The truth is the police officers were letting these people walk around with guns. So why is it that y'all saying that this guy walked past the police with guns? They were letting everybody walk past with them with guns. And I don't know the, the, the right to carry arms in, in that state. I don't know. I don't know if it's open arms where you can carry arms around. I don't know. But I do know that the cops were letting people walk around with pistols and guns. So how are y'all saying, how are y'all trying to say that this young man walked past the cops and they didn't do anything to him? It wasn't doing anything to anybody. That's just it. I believe that he was wrong for crossing state lines with a pistol or with a gun. I believe he was wrong. I believe that he should have just not went. Now, again, that's my opinion. Now, whatever he did, it is what it is. But once he do something, that's a totally different argument now. So now I can't sit here and say that uh, I can say I feel as though he was wrong. But I also but I can't say that he wasn't wrong for defending himself. I'm sorry, I can't. It is what it is. Like, what do y'all want? Just just a couple just a couple of weeks well, two weeks ago, some dude got kicked in the face and, and hit, hit hit his head in the back on the back of the curb on the back of the ground and now they're saying that this dude might be had had brain damage for the rest of his life and all he was trying to do was help somebody he didn't assault anybody he was trying to help somebody because the, the because these same rioters and looters were trying to hurt people told you to talk like share subscribe to the page hey man listen i think kyle's wrong for going to that situation but every man has a right to protect his life. I'm sorry. And yeah, I think I really think people need to uh, look at the entire situation instead of just saying, well, he's a minor. He shouldn't have a gun. Yeah, we know that. It's like minors shouldn't drive and they get into accidents and someone dies. They don't ask you, well, he should have been driving. They, no, that argument is, is very weak. We get it that they shouldn't have been. But it, it what happened? That's the thing. It has nothing to do with should have, could have been, been. It has what happened. I should have played the lottery yesterday. I could have won a million dollars. But I didn't play. So all the, all this should have, should have, should have, should have, we get it. You can say the same thing about politicians when it comes down to politics. A lot of these politicians should do things, but they don't. We have to, we have to realize that it is what it is. Budget talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is.